Hi guys. The reason why this isn't a Great Bear 1982 video is because it's political. I hate politics. I hate politics. I hate politicians. I hate political correctness. I hate just about everything like that. Yeah, I do. I, I really do. Because, uh, basically, when they aren't kissing babies, they're taking away their lollipops. That being said, there's something that uh, needs to be said. If you're an American, more likely, you know it. If you're not an American, if you haven't heard yet, I guess I'd rather that uh, y'all hear it from me. They are working on a UN small arms treaty. It's not a game. It's not. It's not bull. They're doing it. Tuesday. This last Tuesday. At 7:45 p.m., Lou Dobbs reported that one of the key negotiators for the UN small arms treaty is Iran. I don't know how how up to date you are on the war in the Middle East and all that other stuff, but to me, that sounds like a bad idea. Just saying. The same country that we've been having issues with, with nuclear sanctions and, oh, they don't have a bomb. Well, no, they don't. Well, they don't have nuclear power yet. They, they don't have a bomb. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now they've got nuclear power. But that's just nuclear power. Yeah. And on and on it goes. And on and on and on and on and on it goes. Quite honestly, <coughs> where this all goes, uh, what affects me is if they start deciding to go against and start implementing uh, policies that go directly against my Second Amendment rights. Look, they go against the Second Amendment like that. And, and, you know, for the past 60 years, our Bill of Rights have now become Bill of Privileges. I mean, let's be honest. If you're going for the Bill of Rights, I mean, Second Amendment, by their definition, I should be able to have any arm that I choose and walk down the street with it. Um, they changed that. I have to have a permit to carry in my state. There's certain arms that I cannot own in my state. Now, <coughs> the fact of the matter is, is that when they go for this UN Small Arms Treaty, the whole point of it is to disarm the civilians. If you go disarm civilians, what you're going to do is you're going to increase the workload for the policemen. And as much as I respect uh, all policemen, there are not enough of them to be able to truly stop crime. Policemen by design are a reactionary force. They cannot be proactive because they cannot be everywhere. I could go into statistics of how people being armed have saved lives, countless lives. 
I can go into all that. I don't feel I need to. We are looking at the start. And the Obama administration has decided, plain and simple, that whatever that UN small arms treaty says, he's going to go along with it. Now, me personally, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with it at all. I am reminded of a time in Japanese history when the samurai were disarmed and they took their swords and they done away with the entire class literally overnight. It's happening again in a different way with the different people but it's still the same thing. I would urge you to contact your senators and let them know that we cannot abide this. We will not abide this. Now I understand that I am only one voice. I understand that. I also understand that most likely my one voice is not going to be neither heard nor cared about. That's fine. But there's a bigger end than this. And it's this. When I have to make my time make an accounting for my time I want to be able to kneel before the throne and say to the Most High, at least I did my best for my fellow man in this time. And at least I did everything I could. That's about all I got to say about that. Sorry about the long video. We are watching the death of the nation. I wish y'all luck. It's going to get bumpy. As a quick side note, <clears throat> there's a fellow YouTuber, y'all probably heard of him, nothing fancy. I don't agree with a lot of his views. That's fine. I don't have to. There are some things I agree with, some things I don't. Either way, doesn't matter. That's all water under under the bridge. Nothing fancy. He uh he came up with a letter that he wrote himself. Um kind of as a guide letter for us to contact our senators. I highly recommend, highly recommend that you use that letter uh, just for ease so that it's a lot easier on you uh, to contact your senator. He does go through a, uh, how to use it such as that on his uh, video. I'll put the link uh, down uh, here. And uh, Go to that video. Use the letter. Please spend the 5, 15, 25, 30 seconds that it takes to do it. I thank you for your time. I thank you for doing this. I hope that if enough people raise their voice. It is possible we might be able to reverse this. 
because I'll tell you, if you disarm me, and I'm walking down the street, and I see something going on that I could stop otherwise, but because I am now disarmed, I cannot stop it. That's on y'all. And that person's blood is on Obama and his ilk. That's about all I got to say about that. Thank you for your time.